Hi there guys, it's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft here and welcome to another video on the channel. So I'm inside, I'm not outside in the woods, what on earth could be going on? Well if you watch the channel regularly you probably have a very good idea. About three weeks ago I did a video giving you a sneak preview about an up and coming giveaway on my channel and I showed you some of the things that I'd be giving away. Well this is the entry video and if you follow social media then you'll be well aware of what this video is about. And I've been working round the clock getting a few things ready for today and I'm finally finished. Lots of days of stitching leather with sore fingers are over and I've got some really nice gifts to potentially give away to three lucky people out there. So there are three main prizes to be give, given away and uh, this video is the entry video to this giveaway so if you want to enter the giveaway stay tuned and I'll let you know how you can do that. But let's have a look at the prizes first. So you can see here some of the prizes that you can win. But ignore all the stuff on the back shelf, those are just tools and things that I use to create some of these items. And as I said, there are three main prizes. So you don't just get a ferro rod or a bag, you actually get a set, which includes a ferro rod, two patches, a tag, and a tinder pouch full of natural materials, including a practice ferro rod that you can use prior to putting the back of your knife on one of these, as I know some people are going to want to do, they're going to want to practice first because not everybody's got a huge amount of experience and they'll probably worry about making it look a bit ugly or something like that. Um, but let's go over the prizes in more details or each item specifically. So this is the main part of the set that I really make and these are one of the main items that I put on my shop quite a lot of time on my website. And I use one of these myself, you've seen me use it on many of videos. I made mine two years ago and by no means is it made to the same quality as these here. These are really um, kind of at the top of my game in terms of all the work I put into them. They look really attractive, but at the same time, they're solid as a rock and they will last you a lifetime. All the materials are really high quality and I make all of this apart from the fair rod. So it's, uh, it's obviously bought as a blank and I mount it in a piece of antler that I have to shape and select myself. So it's a long process behind making one of these and, and they do take quite a while and uh, and I guess the thing is they look nice but they're, they're made to be used and it's a 3.8mm leather that's been burnished and polished on the ends to make it uh, look really attractive but at the same time seal it off to the weather. It's been tanned and dyed by myself. I've put my stamp on the back of it just to show that I've made it. I've got some really nice 5mm leather lace and uh, we've got red stitching on this one on a bridal tan. This is called bridal tan or sometimes referred to as English tan. But if you open one of these up you just pull the tab like that. The ferro rod will be very tight because they're new and they'll creak a bit and it pops out like that and you can see you've got a 5 inch by half inch ferrocerium rod slightly tapered at one end so it slides in nice and um, you can hold it just like this and scrape it with the back of your knife and it's a great tool that you can put on your belt and carry with you in whichever part of the world you're from. Some, a lot of the people who buy these are from the United States, Canada, Alaska and I imagine they probably take them out into the wilderness with them and, uh, and have them as a, a tool that at least they have on them and this locking system means that you can't lose it. And I've made the beads just tight enough to be pushed up against there. If you really want to secure it down, you can even use that secondary one as well. Uh, but most of the time, or 99% of the time, it'd be absolutely fine like that. But there are three here, and this is one of the varieties that I do. I do a buffalo horn as well, but the, the English tan and the, the antler seem to be the most popular, so I thought, that which should be the one to go in the giveaway. But inside the actual tinder pouch, I'll show you what's in there. You've got a crossbar tinder pouch uh, with a logo stamp on the front. And that really is, I mean, this piece here is just to stop it stretching the leather at the eyes where the cord comes through. So when you do that and you pull it to, uh, it stops it putting too much stress on the eyes. And I mean, they don't, they get ruined basically in this gap here gets thinner and thinner and thinner to the point where it doesn't exist anymore if you don't put that leather brace in. So if we open this up, I'll show you what I've put inside. 
I've got some fatwood gathered by myself. This is from European Larch, really resinous, very nice bit of fatwood, probably the best I've ever found. And it's not like the stuff you buy, which is essentially fake anyway. They just cut a tree down, let it bleed and dry out and then take a bit of timber off it. It's actual real fatwood from a fallen tree and it is good stuff. I've put some uh, jute twine in there, just in case you needed to wrap anything up or you wanted to create the inside of a nest for a tinder bundle. We got some chaga fungus. This is stuff I brought back from my travels in Sweden from a birch tree. Beautiful stuff. To be honest with you, I wouldn't burn this. I'd use it as a tea. It's probably one of the most um, highly regarded anti-carcinogenic substances on the planet. And it's really, really expensive if you buy it for medicinal use. I drink it as a tea as well. And um, it is pretty good, especially if you have it with a bit of milk or almond milk or something along those lines, just warm it up and it'll be really good, but it burns great too. We've got cramp balls. Good old cramp balls, gonna be rare one day when the ash trees all disappear, but we've got some nice cramp balls in there for you to try out. If you really wanna have a practice with some cramp balls, they might be rare to some people. I got a practice fire rod. This is just to light my fire. Actually, another very, very good fire rod. Obviously, I have used this, but it's a practice one for you to try out and um, you know perhaps you don't want to just use that straight away hone your technique in first if you want to keep it looking good but it is made for use this is the point I'm trying to make silver birch bundle little barrel there Himalayan birch slightly thinner very different and um, burns way easier but we don't have that over here unless you are looking at ornamentals then you'll see it everywhere so that's kind of what's inside but I know what you're all thinking, how do you enter the competition and what is the competition? Well, it's really simple. You don't need to have a YouTube channel, you don't need to make a video, and you don't need to answer any difficult questions. It's a prize draw, and all you have to do to enter is write in the comment section below, I'm in, full stop. And if you wanna write a normal comment first and then put I'm in on the end of it, you can do that too. But what I advise you do is you don't make duplicate entries because I will have to moderate and delete any duplicate entries. So you can only enter once in the comment section below. So I'll explain it one more time, it's really simple. Just write I'm in in the comment section below and then you're in the prize draw. You're in the giveaway and you have an opportunity of winning one of these items here, one of these sets. So it couldn't be more simpler than that and basically this video will only be open for a very limited period of time. So this is quite important. So on Monday night, UK time, 10.30 p.m., I will be closing the video for comments. And I'll have taken all the comments from the video and they'll be put into a hat, maybe even this hat here, and then the prize draw will begin. And I will do a video, and I'll do it live on video. I say live on video, I will do it on video. So all you guys can see the names I pull out the hat. So I won't do it behind closed doors and then say, this is who won. I'll be just ex as excited as you guys. <laughs> so um, if you're commenting after Monday, after 10.30 p.m., your comment won't count. And the reason I'm opening it for a real limited period of time is because giveaways have a tendency to attract people who aren't subscribers and uh, they just subscribe and get on board for this kind of thing. And most of my dedicated following who tune in um, literally within the first three or four days or first three days, will probably have seen this video and have an opportunity to win something like this. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So just write I'm in in the comments section. I'll take all the comments Monday night, 10.30 p.m. They'll be in the prize draw, and then you'll see me next on video next week, revealing who the winners are um, as I draw them out of the hat. So it should be pretty exciting. But uh, yeah, these prizes are really looking good. I'm very happy with them very happy with the work I've produced and I hope whoever wins them it serves them well and they get good use out of them wherever they are in the world. So uh, thanks again for watching guys, I appreciate it, appreciate your patience with the giveaway. But uh, write your comment below, don't forget to enter, I'm in, and you can write a normal comment and just put I'm in on the end of it. And uh, thanks again and I'll see you very soon for, who's re for revealing who the winners are. Take care, thanks again.